Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are the Junior Trailblazers, and we are here to present the IOE project. My name is Kennedy Donald, and I attend Stone Middle School. My favorite subject is science, while my least favorite is geography. Hi, my name is Jahir Hanna. I attend Hill Middle School. My favorite subject is history, while my least favorite is science. My name is Nazir Hanna. I go to Hill Middle School. My favorite subject is science. My least favorite subject is math. My name is Kendall Donald. I go to Stowe Middle School. My favorite subject is science, and my least favorite subject is geography. My name is Aaliyah Julius. I go to Fisher Middle School. My favorite subject is ELA, and my least favorite subject is math. Hi, my name is Nando Guifi. I go to Gregory Middle School. My favorite subject is math, and my least favorite subject is history. Today we'll be going over an overview of our problem statement, the development of our team organization, then we'll give you background information on our problem statement, and lastly we'll conclude and take questions. Team responsibilities. For our overall team management will be Aaliyah Julius. For our high-level designer will be Nanzo Avoyfi. For our recorder and secretaries will be Kennedy Donald and Kendall Donald. For our integrator will be Nanzo. And for our website developers for math will be Nanzo and Aaliyah. For math for science will be Kendall and Nazir Hanna. And for our English language arts will be Kennedy and myself, Jahir Hanna. Our constitution is fairly simple. You have to be present, be respectful, share ideas, be open to other ideas, participate, do your research, and we use a democratic decision making process. I'm not engaged in science because my teacher talks way too long. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> she walks from one end of the classroom to the other end of the classroom, not even being excited. When I think of science, I think of building things and creating things from compounds and elements, like slime or blowing things up. <laughs> All we do in science is talk about stuff I'm not interested in. Guess what? I'm not interested. <laughs> Can you imagine sitting in a classroom and not being able to comprehend the material that your teacher has given you? Or maybe you're given a test and you can't answer the first question, so you feel helpless. Well, that's how many students today feel. There are different learning styles. There are auditory learners who learn best by hearing the material. There are kinesthetic learners who learn best from hands-on examples. And there are visual learners who learn best from looking at different examples. 65% of the population are auditory learners, 30% are visual, and 5% are kinesthetic. This proves that everybody has a different learning style. Our problem statement was that the educational approach used today in the 6th and 7th and 8th grade does not fit everyone's learning style. Therefore, an educational approach is needed that individualizes and optimizes the learning process. This box represents the learning process used in schools today. The letters outside of the box represent what we need to do in order to come up with a learning process that individualizes the learning process so that students aren't confined to one type of learning. Think outside of the box. So our solution to the problem is the IOA project. IOA stands for Individualizing and Optimizing Education. The benefits of our IOE project are, it's a one-stop shop for educational resources, it gives learning assessment and enhanced class material, it also benchmarks academic progress and is a district guide. We believe that, we believe that the IOE project will make a difference in everybody's learning styles. Did you, know, did you know that based on the sixth grade, 154 schools in the state of Illinois are underperforming due to students' various learning styles? Some students are reaching their full potential because of the teacher's teaching styles may not be suitable for the student. I feel that the IOE project will be able to change how the teachers teach in the classroom. So why should we struggle? Let's take writing for an example. Kids may struggle with writing because they may, may make careless mistakes, may have trouble generating creative ideas, they may have lack of opinions, or they may simply have trouble elaborating their ideas. Kids may struggle, struggle with reading because it draws upon many skills at one time and that may cause some kids to struggle. 
We believe that the IOE project can make a difference in this. So why is, it, so why is ELA so important? Writing is an important skill that we should all develop because you need to translate material, materialize ideas, and be able to communicate between people. Reading is a skill required in today's society because it enhances your memory and is closely tied to talking with other people. Did you know that 12% of African American students took Algebra 1 before high school? Or did you know that 35% of 8th grade students perform at or above the proficient level in mathematics? These, these percentages are extremely low. We believe that the IOA project will help improve these percentages. Here are the results from a poll we took of 4th grade students around our age. We asked them multiple questions, including, what is their toughest subject and what type of learner they are? As you can see from the poll that asked them which toughest subject they struggled with the most. <clears throat> you can see that math, science, and English language arts were the three toughest areas. This is why we chose these three areas for the IOE project. We believe that we can make the most difference in these areas to help change these statistics. Also, if you look at the bottom poll, which says what type of learner they are, you can see that the, most people said they were visual learners. Also, you can see on this slide, we asked the students again if they enjoyed school. You can see that most kids would said it is okay, but they'd rather do something else. This is where we believe IOE will make the difference because we will make learning engaging for them and they will have a reason to come to school. Okay, I've got a question for the audience. How many of you can remember, even if it was a long time ago, what an up to single was? Or the formula for acceleration? Raise your hands, please. Well, quite a few and far in between here. But <laughs> this is why we believe we need to take a different learning process or approach in the educational system. We, when we do this, there will be more hands up because people will be engaged and they will really remember the concepts because it was taught in a way that works for them. This is why we believe IOE will make the difference. Now let's take a look at science. There are five branches of science, biology, chemistry, physics, geology, and astronomy, but we chose to focus on biology, physics, and chemistry because those are what we learn most in school. Have you ever sat down in a science classroom within the past few years? Well, if not, the most common way that science is taught in school nowadays is reading out of a textbook and then text testing the students on the material that they learned in the te textbook. This might not work for them because they might not be able to retain information that they learned in the textbook. So we believe with the IOE project that we can make students retain information so that they perform better on tests. Less than half of U.S. high school students are ready for college level science by the time they graduate. And less than half of 8th grade students perform at or above the proficient level in science. In 2012, there was an analysis of 34 countries and the U.S. placed 20th in science. Students in grades 4th, 8th, and 12th grade were tested in science, and they all had basic level scores, meaning that they only had a partial grasp of the content. We believe with the IOE project, we can help students understand the content more with a learning style that fits their needs. What's with this new test? Can you believe out of all the students who took the PARC test in Illinois, only 29% met, met the expectations? and only 4% exceeded expectations for math and reading tests. Plus, only 46% of the students who took the ACT test are ready for college. We believe that IOE will help with this after learning. So, our solution was to make a website that would help everybody in the areas mentioned. So, to afford for the IOE website to work, it needed to be user-friendly, easy to navigate, and there was options to take quizzes so people could self-assess where they were and get help in their area. Also, there will be access to grade level and material and also access to district information and additional resources.
as you can see, this is our main page. Users are presented with the choice to go to math, science, or ELA. This is the math homepage. Users can either go to sixth, seventh, or eighth grade, and they can select some topics, such as pre-algebra, algebra, and geometry. Sixth grade pre-algebra. Here are the questions that would be on the test. See, in Quizlet, you can go to the test, and it, you can take it, and you will get instant feedback on your results. And this is how users will help self-assess themselves and get results, and then use it to work for them. This is the science portion of our web page. You can choose from chemistry, biology, and physics, as well as which grade level you want to learn. If you scroll down, you can find a basic definition of each science, and you can also find quizzes and resources if you don't understand certain content within the subject. We have different things for different types of learners. For example, we have pictures for visual learners. We also have videos for auditory learners. And we have even experiments you can do at home for kinesthetic learners who learn best by touching things and doing it themselves. This is our ELA webpage. There are five branches of ELA, but we chose to focus on reading and writing because they are the most prominent branches. So if you scroll down, you can see that there are quizzes for students to take based on what grade level they're in, where they can self-assess themselves and figure out what they need to work on. After they figure out what they need to work on, there are links to different resources to help them improve their learning and improve the material that they retain. If you scroll down, you can find information based on um, different branches of ELA that we think is important for people to know so they understand why it's so important for them to know um, like to know how to read or how to write or how to speak in front of audiences. We conclude that the IOE project will help improve learning for seventh, sixth, and eighth graders. We believe that the IOE project will transform the way that people Are there any questions? So when I was talking about the poll, that was actually 43 people we knew, and they were mostly in eighth grade, so we asked them what they would do. We asked them more questions and whether they wanted more tut like a tutor. Actually, the majority of them said that they would like a tutor, so we believe that this would help. So, any other questions? So did you have any research and discussion with teachers to see what they thought about you know, this particular approach and how it would actually help them in the classroom? And I think you guys are on some really interesting I did speak to my science teacher about this project and I explained to him what we were doing and he actually agrees with me because he thinks that, um, well he's a very different teacher and he, <laughs> likes to use technology in his classroom. So he agrees with me and thinks that students have different learning styles and that they should be reaching their full potentials based on like their needs. And that's not being met in the classroom. As well, I, um, I didn't actually ask my ELA teacher, but we were talking in class with, and she said that how there was one way that everyone was taught and she would like a way that everyone else could be more engaged so she could get students more engaged and more interested in the topics. So, yes. So we use um, HTML 
and we use the operation system. I think we use an application called SeaMonkey. Basically what it is is what you see is what you get. So it's like, I guess it's like a faster way. Instead of like having to type all like the HTML stuff and coding, it's just like you can click on a button and you're like you get a table and the script's already written out. So it's almost like a Word document. So in a Word document, you wanna like say you're writing about flowers. If you say like flowers are nice, you can type that in SeaMonkey and it'll you can look at the HTML if you want to, but you can do everything like almost as if you were in Word or PowerPoint, and then you can look at the HTML to see how it was programmed. How did you discover that particular method? Or uh, well, our mentor, Mr. Shores, he showed us the application. Yeah, he recommended it to us. Can one, just one of you tell me, because I would like to know how you personally would use this, or maybe a subject that you have that you'd like to see your teacher um, use this on. Can one of you give me an example of that? So I'm. Um, I have a math teacher and she doesn't really explain things. She says that, like she, I guess she thinks that we just need to know it. We don't need to know why we do it or how to do, like how exactly to do it or why it works. And to me, that's not very helpful to me because I take lots and lots of notes because if I ever forget anything, I want to be able to refer back to it. So if I was a student, I would use this website to help me understand different like procedures in math and how to do different things that my math teacher didn't cover in class. Yeah, Any more questions? Thank you.